Okay, day six. Um, I don't know how you're feeling, but I'm feeling like this is going really quickly. Like we're already halfway done. And I almost don't feel like it's enough time. So I have decided, and you could do this with me, I'm going to stay following the yes and no list starting on day 11. And I don't know how long I'm gonna follow that, but I'm going to. And because I feel really, really good. Like I've been waking up before my alarm, which is rare. And it's also very strange for me this time of year because in the summer, it's not that uncommon for me to wake up uh, early because of the light in my eyes, but it is dark when I'm waking up right now. And I'm usually grouchy when I wake up and it's dark. Um, yeah, so I'm waking up before my alarm goes off at 6.30. I finally feel well rested. The first like three days, I felt like the inside of a dumpster, just tired. And uh, part of that is because of stress. So that's what I wanna talk to you about is stress and movement. So this cleanse, my stress levels are so much higher, like this farm project that I'm doing. I don't know if you follow me on Instagram, but this farm project that I'm doing is awesome and it's the hardest thing I've ever done. And I've, I've done some pretty hard things. So um, my stress is exorbitant. And I notice that two things go by the wayside when my stress are high. And it's uh, mindfulness around eating and movement. And those are the two foundational components that we require as a species to support high stress loads. So yesterday I had a, a particularly stressful day in emailing back and forth with a government agency that I'm not particularly fond of and that I'm contracted with for grant money that I actually won't receive. Another story. Um, as you can see, I'm like starting to sweat even thinking about this. Um, I spent the majority of my day yesterday really, really, really upset, disappointed, angry, sad, frustrated, um, all the kind of negative emotions. And what was amazing is I went for a walk with my dog and it literally took 40 minutes and I came back a new human. And so I challenge you because I, I know this from experience too, like, yeah, I, I might be the person guiding you and directing you, but I'm a human. So I deal with the same things that you deal with and I respond in a similar way that you do. My nutrition and my movement go by the wayside when I feel stressed. And we can't let that happen. We must prioritize those two things. We are worth it and it is absolutely necessary. So I want to ask you, do you experience that? When you feel stressed, do you notice that you, the, your mindfulness around eating like goes in the toilet? Do you stress eat? Do you, And when you stress eat, I guarantee it's not like uh, a kale salad and um, meeting your protein requirements for the day, right? It's not that. That's not what we reach for. That doesn't set off the endorphins immediately the same way M&Ms or pretzels do, right? I mean, those end up making us a dumpster fire later, but um, but they send off those like signals of serotonin and dopamine that we're seeking. Well, you know what else does that? Moving your body. And I recognize that that's hard. And it was a hard decision for me to get away from my desk and to try not to cry and to get outside and move my body. But I promise you, it was everything. And today it's freezing and I'm, I'm still gonna do it. I'm gonna bundle up in all my gear and I'm only gonna walk for probably 20 minutes, but I'm going to do it because I need it. So what are you noticing about your stress response Maybe not right this minute, but what? How, how do you respond to stress when you are not doing this cleanse? And what is your movement practice? What are you committed to doing to move your body every day? And I'm not talking about HIIT workouts. I'm talking about stress management and moving your body. HIIT workouts are good too, but not additional stress. Post in comments.